Hi, it's Lara here with Witchy Wednesday for the week of October 18th, 2017. Um, <laughs> truthfully, I almost didn't do this today for the first time in a long time. Um, I'm having a rough time over here and maybe you folks are too, which is part of the reason why I decided that I have to do it anyway. Um, you know, and, and, and also for some, some more personal reasons, um, that will, uh, sort of come out as, as the reading goes on. Um, anyway, and of course, you know, the card that came up for us is so perfectly timed as always. Um, the more I do these, the more I do readings for clients, the more I do, you know, readings for my, my, myself, it's just remarkable to me how, um, nothing is coincidence, right? So, um, I'm sorry if this is a little off today, if I'm sounding extra rambly, um, but I'm going to try my best. Here in Canada, where I live, uh, this morning we got news that we lost a major music legend, Gord Downey. Um, and if you're somebody who feels all the feels on top of everything else that's going on in the world, hmm, that's pretty shitty news. <laughs> Even though we knew it was going to happen, right? And um, I think that a lot of people are upset today. You know, it's it's funny how you don't even know somebody, but they can be such a part of your upbringing and your youth. Whew. <laughs> Just a sec. Going to get a Kleenex. Oh. <sighs> Okay, I'm not going to cut that part out because uh, I'm sure you're a lot of you, I know a lot of you are feeling the same way. And it's not just about that, right? It's not just about um, the fact that we lost a major, uh, a major Canadian legend today. Um, it's just about the cumulative impact of all that's been going on in the world. Whew. So if you're having a rough time today for that reason or for any other reason, then I'm right there with you, obviously, and uh, hang in there, okay? Um, I want to just remind you that uh, if you're in the Sudbury area, this is sort of last call for my workshop that I'm having on Saturday. Um, and it's titled Practical Magic for Moving Through Fear, Anxiety, and Panic. There's a lot of that going on these days for a very good reason. And uh, <laughs> the card that came up for us speaks to that too. And so, uh, you know, if you, if you want to join us, there's still some room so you can let me know. And of course, if, if you would like a personal reading, um, or session, then you can uh, follow the links here below and get in touch with me. Okay. So no coincidences, right? This is the card that came up for us today. And again, I used the witch's tarot, uh, by Ellen Dugan or Duggan. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. The card that came up is the shadow side, and it looks pretty scary, but, you know, um, it's really not, and I'll explain to you why. It is actually connected to the devil card in the traditional tarot, and I pulled that card out of my Rider Waite deck just to show you the image on it, um, because you might resonate with this image more. Um, no, not reversed. It didn't come up reversed. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so the shadow side, but it relates to the devil card um, in the traditional Rider Waite deck. Okay, so this is all about um, facing our fears. <laughs> it's all about taking a good close look 
inside and really acknowledging where we're giving our power away, where we are blaming external sources for our own unhappiness and discomfort and um, how our, you know, our, our self-talk and our inner demons um, can be responsible for paralyzing us, right? These people here, oh, again, reverse. I don't know why I keep doing that. Sorry. These people in the card, you can see like they're, they're, there's this scary, creepy, black hooded figure in the background and they are, um, they're cowering and they're trying to hide and trying to escape. And what they don't realize that is if they just turn around and face that scary guy, he's going to go away. <laughs> um, that's the way to deal with this. We have to face it have to face it head on and um that's not an easy thing to do right um especially if you're somebody right now who who you know feels all the feels <laughs> like me and i know that lots of you are it's hard to go there when there's so much going on externally right now um but we have to you know, we have to embrace our own inner hero. We have to um, not be the victim um, to our circumstances. Now is the time to to deal with our demons, to um, to deal with our baggage, and to you know to face it. Um, we have uh, right now. There's a lot of, uh, you know, in astrological terms, there's a lot of air energy going, uh, you know, on right now. A lot of stuff happening in Libra, which is an air sign. Um, and that's about the mind, right? Mercury rules Libra, and that's about the mind. And our mind can so often play tricks on us and um, really get the best of us. And this is, uh, this could be what's happening right now. There's also about to be, well, already um, we have a major planet, Jupiter, that moved into Scorpio for the next year. Uh, so already digging up some of the um, the shadow side, right? Collectively, I've been talking about that the last couple of videos, collectively and individually. And we're about to, to move into uh, Scorpio season in terms of the sun is going to move into Scorpio, um, Mercury. Again, the planet of the mind uh, is going to move into Scorpio. There's a lot of heavy stuff here, but this isn't bad. And that's the thing we need to, if we try to run away and escape, you know, through whatever your methods of escape are, um, you know, bad habits, addictions, um, you know, just simply refusing to face your reality um, in whatever way, then that only grows. Those, those demons only get scarier and, uh, and, and grow. And so if we can, um, can look at our shadow side individually and collectively and uh, decide that it's time to, to do something about it, it's time to own it. It's time to, you know, shed the light shine the light on it, um, then we can transform into something completely different. Scorpio is all about that cycle of death and rebirth and transformation. And so that's not a bad thing. It's a necessary thing. Um, so we have to stop looking at it. We have to look beyond this. We have to stop looking at it like it's, it's so scary. We have to... Um, Find the courage to face the shadows and face our fears. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it there. I think that's pretty loud and clear what the message is. Um, and I think it's no coincidence. And, um, you know, I'm sorry for the little breakdown at the beginning, but um, that's, that's the truth. And that's me facing my fears and showing my vulnerability to you. Um, I'm feeling pretty insecure these days in what I'm doing truth be told. And, uh, and I feel, you know, yet another sort of shedding and, um, 
bit of a personal transformation happening. And so um, I think probably after I do this workshop on Saturday, um, things might be a little bit quiet for, for just a little while until I, um, I can get my bearings a little bit personally, um, you know, in terms of, of how I'm moving forward. So, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to do Witchy Wednesday because I love doing this. So I, I will be here for that. Definitely. Okay. Take care, everybody. Uh, big hug to you and uh, hang in there. Okay. Bye-bye.